So welcome everyone. Let me know as well where you are. That's better. Where you are in the world. We've got 134 people on now. Um, and is this your first ever, I was going to say Friday night stitch with Sally, because if you've been here for a long time, you'll know that I did these every single Friday night during lockdown 2020. Um, and that is not something we want to be returning to. Um, the lockdown, not the lives. Why have I got a strange piece of hair? Um, that's better. But um, it's really weird looking at yourself on a live. Anyway, right. So we've got Carla, our amazing Facebook group admin in here. I was going to say give everyone a wave, Carla. Um, let me know if this is your first Stitch with Sally event. We've got about 40, 60 minutes. I have a ton of news. You can ask me anything you like and I will try and get through all of the questions. Hi, Rosie in New York. Rachel in Connecticut. Um, Dragana's in Serbia. Jill, thanks for ordering Stitch Along and it's your first one. Iowa, Glasgow. Are you in bed, Emma, or is that Bedfordshire? I'm guessing it's Bedfordshire. You can be in bed if you want to. Um, we've got Kim, Carly, Carol, Jennifer. Amazing, we've got a ton of new people. Um, I've been trying to share the event as much as possible in the group and social media um, to help people come here and enjoy it. So what I am stitching tonight um, is the bookworm bookmark pattern. So I have my oh, bumblebee needle minder here. I folded this in half. Your version is going to look a lot better. Um, I've done all of the pattern files today ready to email out to everybody. Um, there you can see my bumblebee. Um, so yours is going to be in black and white, symbols only, and also in colour blocks with symbols on there as well. Um, it will be about that dimension. So it will be, um, it will look like this, but you will have um, the colour version down here, the black and white version down here. So it's really big. It's really easy to see um, and follow. So what is Cross Stitch School? I'm going to put a link up in the chat let me see if i can find it we've also got a link on the facebook page and in the group in the about us but i'm just going to put a link if anyone is not signed up oh there we go i put a link in the comments there there we go kits are being sent out tony's here hi tony wilmslow Stevenage. Um, hi, Janice. Okay, so the link is now in the chat if you are not already subscribed to our VIP Stitch Club, which is our email newsletter, essentially. And what we're going to be doing is from the 31st of January, which is next Monday, um, we are starting our Cross Stitch School, which is essentially a beginner's school guide to how to cross stitch. I'm sure the vast majority of you on here already know how to cross stitch, in which case, please do come along as well. Um, the email will be going out with the completely free pattern for bookworm. Um, here is my version so far. As you can see, I've done some of it um, this week um, and there's a bit more to finish off during tonight's session and later. Um, you can use any colours you like. Mine are all, this is very bad, isn't it? Um, that they are not tidier um, but you can see here the different colors there's this plum plum color um, this ready orange which is dmc 900 and then this gorgeous blue it's quite a dark blue actually which is dmc 519 um, but all of the details are in the pdf files so you'll get the full pattern for free full instructions the dmc color key as well and all the links to any support and of course the youtube channel um, so I don't know, Carla, would you be able to put a link to the YouTube channel in the chat, please, just in case anyone hasn't seen any of the videos before or isn't subscribed to that channel. We have a four part beginner series. Anyone is welcome, even if you just want to come along um, for a bit of fun and stitch along with me and Sean, who is our YouTube presenter. Um, and over those four videos, it's one video every two weeks. Um, she will, this is Sean, will be going through the basics, all the supplies that you'll need. We do have supply packs ourselves 
um, they're available on the website. So you will get this special Zweigart band. Um, there you go, that's much better. Um, so it's this gorgeous, kind of a rustic brown beige. You can see it a bit better there. Um, and it's got this beautiful edging on it. Um, I mean, to me, it's the perfect bookmark fabric. I'm not quite sure what else you'd use it for. Um, but either side, <clears throat> either side of it is completely edged. Um, so it's perfect. And what I have also, um, I just to say in those supply packs, they are £5.75 and you'll get the band, you'll get all of the threads and you will get a DMC size 24 needle as well to go in there. Um, and you've got your free pattern and you've got your four video tutorials, which will be covering the basics, the supplies that you'll need. If you're international, you might prefer to use up your stash. You might have something near nearby that you'd rather use. You can use any colors at all. So I'm really excited to see all of the different colors that you guys choose. I've gone for these because I just thought they were really bright and they really stood out against this fabric. It's not a solid color fabric. It does actually have... Um, sort of a beautiful variation to it um, a bit like it's not a linen it's ada um, but that kind of lovely effect it's a lot like the gray fabric for the grace wreath monogram kit if anyone stitched that before um, so those colors i think you know really stand out against it um, but of course you could use subtler colors you could use pastels you could use whatever your favorite colors are um, or whatever whatever will go with your decor or wherever you'll be uh i'm gonna say stitching wherever you'll be reading or you might be giving it as a gift so those packs if you do want those little packs they're not packaged like one of our standard kits they are packaged um in clear plastic um with those just basic supplies to get you going what i also have which we are we don't have to sell but you can easily get this from any craft store ebay amazon or anything like that um is sticky back felt. Now you might have seen this if you've seen my YouTube video before on how to finish off a cross stitch bookmark. Um, and you can get this in like 20 different colors. I just thought this one would work. I know that's quite bright. I just thought that would work quite nicely. Um, I've previously done my daughter a mermaid themed. In fact, she had two mermaid themed bookmarks and I used a really bright turquoise backing felt um, and the back peels off really easily and it's really really sticky so all you would do is cut the piece to size stick it on the back that's all I'm going to do to be honest um, just to cover up those backing threads because the fabric is edged so nicely if you are using a piece of fabric that isn't this special band from Zweigart um, you might want to then once it's attached to the back of the felt um, just do a really really simple stitch along the edge so that is what I am working on today. I'm just going to get my needle minder sorted. Um, Carla is here in the comments to ans answer any questions, send you any links um, or anything else. Is there a link to the pattern only purchase the supplies? Sue, thanks for your question. Um, so the pattern is completely free and it will be emailed out to everyone probably Friday. Um, I need to find where to buy DMC thread to make multiples um eve if you wanted to make multiples you could get the um supply you could get several supply packs if you wanted um the pattern files are ready to go um so they will probably be sent out friday i reckon so make sure you're subscribed to that email list um and check the link in the comments um oh that's lovely emma all of the book club friends you could do one in every single color um, and if you are subscribed to the email list, then you will be getting all of the info details um, out to you in your cross stitch school pack on Friday. Um, and then part one, the first video. So it's not part one of the pattern like a stitch along. It's the first video will be released on Monday 31st. And the next one will be two weeks after that and so on and so on. So it will cover the supplies how to get going, what is cross stitch, how to place your first stitch, um, different techniques, tips, how to finish it off and everything else. So Sean will be going through different sections of the pattern. Um, is that better? Um, 
these lines are really easy to get started with before we actually start onto the word itself. Um, and then how to actually finish it off and turn it into a bookmark. If you wanted it to be a little bit firmer, you could also add a little bit of card as well um, behind that just to make it a bit stiffer, if you like. So we also have a giveaway at the end of today's Facebook Live. And the prize is, given that we've just released part one of How Does Your Garden Grow Stitch Along? Um, well, there's two prizes, actually. That's better. It's because this light is so bright. So the first prize is a Norman the Gnome needle minder. There we go. It's made from hard enamel. It's really, really sturdy. We had a lovely review from um, someone called Rosie this week. We don't actually get to see people's surnames um, on the website. It just has first names who said they're the best she's ever seen, the best she's ever used, which was a massive compliment um, because a lot of work goes into these little guys. Um, so there's, there's two magnets and they're really super strong to hold your needle on. It will demonstrate, can you see that? So we have a Norman the Gnome needle minder. We also have, because I know you guys are really proud stitchers and carrying around a huge stash all the time, but also get annoyed easily if someone is uh, doing a bit of this while we're trying to stitch. So just in case, um, there is someone a bit like that. You might be on public transport. It could just be in the house. You can hold this up as a reminder. It's a tote bag. Don't talk to me. I'm counting. Thank you very much. I need this on, on repeat or some kind of sign on my head or a necklace. Just don't talk to me. I'm counting. So we have the tote bag and a Norman the, Norman the Gnome needle minder. So I'm going to put those down there. And we will be doing that giveaway at the end. It's really easy to enter. We're going to just have, it's just one question and it will be the first person um, to get it right. Now, Carla, um, if Carla is still on, I hope she is. Um, with the giveaways, it's always a bit tricky because the feed I'm seeing of the comments, the feed Carla sees and the feed that you're seeing in all of the comments um, sometimes can be a little bit different. But the way we're going to do it is it's the first person that Carla sees on her feed, which is chronological, um, that has the correct answer. Um, so apologies in advance if you're seeing something different, but we are trying to do it as fairly as possible. Um, so it will be the first one that Carla sees in her comments feed um, will be the winner. I'm just looking at any questions. Rebecca's surname, uh, surname, Rebecca's husband's name is Norman. Hi, Norman, Lance. Um, hi, Yasmin, Rachel, Catherine. You can use any colours you want. Yep, the DMC colours will be in there as well. We've got 3607, which is plum. 900 is the ready, rich orange. And 517 is the dark blue. They're all used in different Caterpillar Cross Stitch designs. Um, I believe 900 is used in Hello Pumpkin. Um, 3607 is used in quite a few different kits. Um, thanks, Delina. It is a really nice size bag. You can pack a ton in there. Um, you can use it for the gym, shopping. I mean, we always need a tote bag on the go or weekend away. Um, I did try and find a question about gnomes, actually. Um, but they were all a bit, they're all a bit dodgy. So I thought, actually, this way, there's only one right answer. Um, OK, so I will be working on the W of bookworm, um, which is an orange. I mean, you could technically use as many colours as you wanted, really, um, for the bookworm pattern. Does anyone else do that? Grab the whole um, bundle of threads and just pull one strand out. And I'm going to do the loop start. Um, there's my loop end. I've got one piece. It's a metre. Um, if you get the supplies pack, um, the threads are all cut to one metre. They're not on a thread holder just because they're really tiny packs. Um, and we've just put them in small envelopes, really. Um, but yeah, I've got one metre piece of my 900 code thread. I've looped it in half, put both ends together through the eye of the needle. Um, and then I've still got my loop at the bottom. So I'm going to come, if you haven't done the loop method before, 
I'm coming from the back to the front, but leaving that tail there. Let me try and count while I'm doing this. One, two, three, one, two. Does anyone else do that? So I'm coming from the back to the front, but I'm going to leave the end, leave the loop where it is, and then do your half stitch. And when you come down from the front to the back, put your needle through the loop, pull, and you've got no end. You've got no tail on there at all, which is absolutely fantastic. One, because you're saving thread, um, and also because you have no messy ends on the back. There we go. Okay. Just a little demo if anyone hasn't seen that before. Claire has only recently found out about it. Absolute game changer, isn't it? It's so neat. You save on the threads. Um, you're not worried about anything um, getting loose or having to tuck the end under. It's one of those things that everyone's like, how did I not know this sooner? Uh, blunt needle is fine. Yeah, you don't want a sharp needle. You might hurt yourself or you might sort of split through the holes in the fabric. Um, that banded fabric, by the way, is 14 count Ada. Um, so it's really easy to stitch on. Can't find in the Facebook group where to subscribe. Let me pop that here. I've just popped the link. Oh, there we go. Just replying to Lorna and there's another link. Okay. Fantastic. All right. I also wanted to talk to you also. I was going to say hands up as if we're in we're in school. I've got this whole mentality of cross-stitch school. Hands up or can we do thumbs up? Um, let me know if you are coming to one of our February or March virtual stitching social events and you will be stitching this gorgeous thing. Let me just turn that away for a sec. I'll turn that down. There we go. Cedar Lodge all stitched up. Um, I've been doing photography of this over the last few days. Um, obviously, the edges will be in and it will all be finished off beautifully. Um, is that better? But here is Cedar Lodge. Um, I think there's enough detail in there to, to keep things interesting. Um, where am I? Everything's backwards, particularly the little chimney here, the brick chimney um, and the, is it a bow, a bow? About. I mean, I know that that's a bow, but don't they call it a bow, you know, of like leaves and what do you call it? Like a garland over the door. It's not supposed to be Christmassy. It's just supposed to be a woodland, wild log cabin lodge with our logs down the side. It could be anywhere, really. It doesn't look particularly British, does it? Um, maybe somewhere in Canada. Um, so you've got the steps here, front door with its black hinges um, and its sort of golden windows because there's probably a fire going in. Oh, check your connection. Hope that's OK. Am I still on? We're cool. We're cool. Um, maybe not necessarily a fire, um, but it's very warm inside and glowing, hence the lovely golden windows. And then these are supposed to be some sort of fairy lights across the roof. So following along from Mulberry Cottage, which was our summer uh, cottage, which was very floral. We had Gingerbread Cottage, which was our Christmas gingerbread cottage, obviously. Um, this absolutely gorgeous thing. Um, everyone wanted a woodland cottage. And then what else do we have for our next event? So those are February, March. So thumbs up if you're coming. Dragana is coming to one. Um, I'm going to keep putting the link in the comments if anyone wants to sign up for the newsletter to make sure you get your bookworm free pattern. Um, hi, Maricel. Maricel's in New Zealand. Hi, Mandy. So February, and March tickets are all sold out. Um, we tend to sell out for the events within an hour or maybe five hours but it does tend to be the same day. Um, we have myself, Carla and Charlie, um, who is another Facebook group admin. We are the three hosts um, and we are doing three events each with 10 people in each, um, which is a nice number because everyone, there's enough people to kind of, it's interesting, everyone gets to share their story, get to know each other a bit. 
um, you know, have an input into the conversation. Or likewise, if you did want to get involved, but kind of you might be a bit more introverted or you just want to listen to others um, and just enjoy your stitching and kind of have a drink and enjoy the social aspect, you can do that too. Um, the next events after February, March will be in the summer. Um, I'm not sure if I've confirmed or released the details of the design for that one. I think I might have. Um, the design for the summer events, which will likely be held June, July. In fact, they will be um, because August is the release of the Christmas Stitch Along, um, is going to be a sort of a nautical seaside cottage type of a vibe. So if that's your thing, um, please do, again, sign up for emails because that is where you will hear about the ticket releases. Um, there will be a warning about a week before and then there will be another email on the exact time that those tickets get released. It's normally about 6, 7 p.m., um, normally on a weekday. So keep an eye out for that. Um, also really excited about box six. Give me a smiley face or just say whatever. Um, oh, everyone's saying the feed just went out. Sorry, guys, I did get a notification. I'm not quite sure what's happening. Um, our internet seems absolutely fine, um, but I think we're back in business. Uh, instructions for the social event. Yes, Rachel. Um, so the first social event, I think, isn't for a while. Um, it's not at the start of Feb, but yes. So everyone who signed up for one of those nine events in February or March will be getting um, an email which has all the details in there as well, where to log on, what you need to do, what you need to remember, um, how the event will be run, um, information about who else is in your group, anything you like really. Um, Sue, is everyone... Can everyone see and hear me okay? Everything's looking fine my end, um, but a couple of people are saying that it's being a little bit glitchy. Um, my internet seems fine. Um, I think we had a glitch four minutes ago, it's telling me. Um, I'm not quite sure why. Stream metrics, it's very complicated. Um, amazing. I can create polls, I can create all kinds of things. What I need to do really, um, share to pages groups, is um, have someone helping me with the lives um, so that I can just do the stitching and the talking and then someone else can log in and um, create polls and reply to comments and do all of that fun stuff. Hi Sally. Hi Carla. Carla is now logged in as Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Amazing. Hi Jill. Valerie. Cool. So, um, what was I going to say then about events? No, it was about books. Um, let me know, what are you all reading at the moment? I know so many of you guys love both cross-stitching and reading. Um, let me know. I'm always after new recommendations if you've just finished fiction, non-fiction, whatever it might be. Um, let me know if there's sort of your favourite book of last year or something that you would really recommend. Um, what am I reading at the moment? I am, honestly, I get through so many. Most of them, to be honest, are non-fiction. Um, business books, leadership books, management, um, things about creativity and kind of not being scared to put yourself out there. Things about growth mindset I love as well. Um, yes, Eve, possible job opportunity, absolutely. Um, I know Fern Cotton's got a new book out, which I would absolutely love. And who else has done one? Oh, and then there's a book club. I think there's a Reese Witherspoon book club and she recommends things. Giovanna Fletcher. Yes, I really need to get into hers. Absolutely. Everyone highly recommends Giovanna Fletcher. Danielle Steele. Bridgerton. I didn't know that there was a Bridgerton 3. Um, yeah. It's one of my resolutions. I try not to have sort of a blanket, obvious New Year's resolution because it never really goes to plan. Um, but instead, just like a rolling goal. Um, and I do listen to an awful lot of audiobooks. I've had an Audible subscription um, 
I think since around May 2020, when I was in the old office by myself packing up positivity rules, stitch along kits, um, and needed some company. So I was very lonely back in the day. Um, and it's never ended because now, whether I'm brushing my teeth, I'm driving, whatever I might be doing, cooking, I will always have one on the go. And I also play it at 1.2 or 1.5x the speed. I don't know if anyone else does that. And the same with podcasts as well, um, just because I can get through them really quickly. Lisa Jewell, yes, I've read quite a few of hers actually, Liz. Um, have tend to, uh, I've read those before sort of as holiday reads. Bear with me a second, I'm just plugging in as the uh, power is going. There we go. Um, and then one book, I do also have a lot of physical books, but one I'm loving at the moment. Um, yes, Eve, you can cross stitch and listen at the same time, is the Studio McGee. I think it's called Make a Beautiful Life or something like that. Um, it's from the show Dream Home Makeover um, and Studio McGee are these interior designers um, and it's all about their business and how they started and built it from nothing. Um, the designer didn't have any qualifications in interior design at all um, and her husband came on board to work for the company and it's just about the highs and lows of business really. Um, but from an interior design perspective um, and taking risks. Um, does anyone else here run their own business? Um, I'd love to know if there is anyone and um, and what you do and, you know, if you've got any tips for others or learning points or anything. I always find it fascinating people that have been in business for like 10, 20, 30 years because I just think you must have seen and been through so much. Um, and I just love hearing about people's stories. Could be in anything at all. Um, OK, so I've also got to share with you before we move on to our giveaway soon um, are the beautiful. That's better. Um, DMC thread colours on one of our thread holders um, for box five. Let me know if you're a box five subscriber. I didn't want to bring the whole of box five, nor did I want to show you the finished design for Climb Every Mountain. Um, oh, it's, I don't want it to be too, if I turn that away a little bit, that's a bit better. The greens, this is not doing it justice at all, to be honest. The greens are really, really vibrant and vivid. Um, Climb Every Mountain is our nature theme box five um, designed by Max from Pigeon Coop Designs. Um, if you want to know what is in box five, then head over to our blog on the website and there are pictures of everything, the finished design, the kit and the other three goodies. There's, in our subscription boxes, there's always something edible, um, something really useful, something to do. Um, and I hope you're going to love this month's box. It's been hard not to eat, as usual, the goodies inside. Previous boxes have had chocolate lollies, um, sort of sweetie lollies. We've had cookies, lint balls, chocolate, all kinds of things. Um, there's always a few spare and it tends to be me that goes and munches on them all. Um, but this month I have not had any of the contents of the boxes, which I think is quite an achievement. Um, and nor have I used any of the things. So it's nature inspired, it's eco-friendly, getting outdoors, fresh air. So I hope you're going to love that one. We're shipping that. Let me just have a look on Tuesday. So less than a week to go. But if you did want to subscribe um, and try out one of the subscription boxes, um, if you were to subscribe today, then it would be box six, which is called Spring Wings. And that one was designed by Faye at Little Dove Designs, who I also love. Um, it is a spring butterfly theme. So I don't have, obviously, well, I wouldn't be sharing the stitch sample with you anyway, um, because it is, I try not to say surprise, just in case someone does see something and then they're disappointed. Um, but it's springy, it's butterfly-y, it's very bright and colourful. We are stitching on a pale pink fabric. It's the same fabric actually that is used in Positivity Rules. 
um, and the three items in that box I think you're absolutely going to love. Um, it will be a box that I will be taking one home, opening, using all of the items. Um, they're quite, I wouldn't say unusual, but I haven't seen anyone include these items before. Um, it's been a bit of a collab with the whole team. Everyone's had all these ideas um, of things that they would love to receive and things that they haven't seen elsewhere. So I really hope you're going to love box six. Um, just bear with me. What I'm going to do is see if I can sort you guys out as a thank you for coming on the live. Um, a discount code for 15% off a box. If anyone did want to grab a subscription box um, who has not tried one before, um, the code you need is 15 box five. So if you use that one, the next box, in fact, shall I change this? No, I won't change it. Um, there we go. I'll put it in the here we go 15 box five there we go and if you do want to give it a go you can just grab one if you want to it is a subscription um i'm just trying to find the link now um but you can cancel pause or skip or anything like that at any time there's the link to that um, so yeah, thank you everyone for being here. And if you did want to grab one of the subscription boxes, I've got 143 people on. I think they've either heard about the giveaway or the discount. Um, you can get one, you can get box six with 15% off while we're on the live. Um, those are shipping first of April. So it'll be a lovely spring treat um, in between stitch alongs, in between other projects, very giftable. I only want six. What is the code for six? Donna, if you use code 15box5, you'll be able to subscribe today for 15% off box six. If you only want box six, you'll still subscribe via that link in the comments. Um, it's £25 for a box and that's free UK postage. We do ship internationally, um, but there are different postage amounts depending on where you are in the world. Um, yes, you can, Catherine. Yes. So if these are new subscriptions, you've never had a box before, give it a try. If you want box six, then you can subscribe. And then when you've received that or, you know, in a few weeks, you can skip or you can cancel. But you will still have paid for the box six. And if you use the code, it won't be £25 because it'll have 15% off. Um, hi, Olivia. Thank you so much. Hi, Megan. Mandy, thank you for that. So easy and quick to stitch. They're all on 14 count ADA and they're perfect for beginners. So if it's you want to get into cross stitching, if you just want something that's really easy to do, take your mind off things, keep your hands busy, something that you can pick up and put down of an evening or give to a friend or family member or colleague or whoever it might be. Um, it's a really great gift for someone else for their birthday because there's a ton of other things in there as well. So it's not just about cross stitch. That's just one of the elements in the subscription box, uh, which is the full cross stitch kit with everything in there they're going to need. Let's put the link there again for, not for Connie, Lindsay. Okay, fab. So yeah, I'm thrilled about box six. Um, and then box seven, which is in June, we have Tiny Modernist confirmed. Has anyone done any of her stitching before? Absolutely stunning work. I've got all of the boxes for this year planned out. Themes, designers, it's going to be amazing. Box seven, I think you're absolutely going to love. Um, but like I say, that one is out in June. Um, right, a bit more stitching, I think. This is not, not a lot of progress is being made too much talking um what else do we have so yeah so if you are we've got 140 people on if you've missed the start we've been talking about cross stitch school i am stitching the free bookworm pattern cross stitch school is basically a four-part video tutorial series um to to help people get into cross stitch 
we are stitching this bookworm pattern we've got the supply packs which come with these gorgeous spy guard, um bookmark fabric um, and then you can use any colors you like the patterns completely free so you don't have to get the supplies pack you can just download the pattern um, that will be coming out to you on Friday and um, you can do what you like any colors you can make as many as you like um, but make sure you're subscribed not subscribed well you can be subscribed to the YouTube channel and that will make sure you get all four of those tutorial videos from our amazing YouTube presenter Sean but also signed up for the email newsletter because that is how you're going to access that cross stitch pattern um, we have a new needle minder coming soon any guesses It makes it feel more interesting drinking water out of a red wine glass than it does just out of a normal cup. Um, but weirdly, I actually don't miss alcohol that much. Um, has anyone else given up alcohol? It won't last for long because my birthday is coming up, so I probably will have a drink then. Um, but I think it's good to have a bit of a break. So yeah, new need reminder, guesses. Marie says butterfly, Kerry says giraffe, oh there's quite a few butterflies, Elena the code is 15 box 5, um, you need to enter that at checkout, um, Connie and Mandy, love it stitch it, well love it stitch it would have launched by now, um, but there was a couple of bugs last week, unfortunately, which I'm trying to tell myself, you know, these things happen. Every platform has a couple of tweaks to be made. Even Facebook and Instagram went down the other month. Um, a very, very tiny bug, um, which I believe has already been fixed. Um, all of the Caterpillar cross stitch designs are up there. I think we have about 30 other cross stitch designers confirmed to be uploading all of their back catalogue of PDF patterns onto the Love It Stitch It marketplace. Um, so the goal is to get all cross stitch designers to have their patterns on there. So anyone that you know of, please do share loveitstitchit.com with them. Um, it's also a cross stitch design platform. So we have a Love It Stitch It Facebook page and also a Love It Stitch It Facebook group. In there, there are three videos um where you can see me i'm talking but you've also got a whole screen view of love it stitch it of the software how to use it so you can create any cross stitch pattern that you like completely from scratch really really easily there is full support and tutorials you can upload any artwork graphics or a photo and have that automatically converted into a cross stitch pattern you can choose the size the dimensions the color of the fabric you can choose the brand of the threads and also limit how many colors because if you were to upload a photo let's say of a dog it might churn out 80 colors which as we all know who's going to have that in their stash and that's going to be quite expensive to get from the shops so if you wanted to lim limit it to say 10 or 15 colors you can do that and the program itself will automatically make the design a bit simpler and limit the shades of thread um, and then when you've created your amazing design if you want to you can upload your own design onto the marketplace um, there's no listing fee um, so that will go up and then you're essentially sharing your own unique design with the whole world you choose your sale price so let's say it's five pounds and I do all of the work of getting it out there all the marketing all of the promotion hopefully it's going to be in press magazines newspapers blogs um, sharing it with the world so we can get as many people as possible and then you can sell the designs that you have created um, likewise if you are a designer or you've already got a pdf pattern um, or that you own the copyright to you can create a listing on the marketplace and upload that pattern it doesn't have to have been created using the love it stitch it software um, but to answer your question in a very long-winded way, sorry, um, it should be launching in the next couple of weeks. We are so close. Um, we are literally just crossing the T's, dotting the I's, making sure every link works, um, the wording is perfect, everything is absolutely spot on. Um, there we go. Is it a cat? This is Needleminder Guesses.
Thank you so much, Sue, Cindy. Um, Zoe's given us an angry face, but by accident, didn't mean it. Um, no worries, Zoe, that actually happens more often than you think. Or someone will like comment on a YouTube video or on a post with like a crying emoji. And then I'll get a message to say, um, I didn't mean to cry. I actually meant happy, just, you know, slipped. Um, so it's a really, we love it, Stitchy. It's a really easy way um, to have a play around, just have fun. There's, we get emails all the time and there's always going to be that pattern out there that you think, oh, I've never been able to find a dove or I want to add a name onto something. You can use our text tool. There's a ton of different fonts in there. You can create your own alphabet. Um, you might want to add the date or a name or a word to a different cross stitch piece, but you need the actual pattern for that. You can use the platform to do that too. Um, and just have fun and create whatever it is that you want. You can upload something and then edit it. You can delete bits, change the colors, anything you like. Um, I've been designing cross stitch patterns for over six years and I've created this to be one, have all of the functions that you're going to need, but two, most importantly, really easy to understand, easy to follow, very simple, very user friendly. Um, I know when I look at something for the first time, whether that's like Photoshop or something, I'm kind of bombarded and then I feel actually put off because I don't understand it or there's too many buttons. Um, you won't feel like that with Love It Stitch It. Um, and I am here and the whole team is here as well to help you along the way. We have um, email support, hello at loveitstitchit.com and in the Facebook group and um, exclusive tutorials as well and insights and analytics and trends and tips and all kinds of amazing things. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, if anyone did want to hang up, sign up for the email. Thanks, Susan. Um, thanks, Olivia. If anyone wants to sign up for an email alert when you can start using Love It Stitch It, um, it's loveitstitchit.com. Okay, fab. How is everyone stitching getting along? Um, mine, bit slow, too much talking. Um, what else? How does your garden grow stitch along? It always feels like with the January sale, because we open for pre-order on the 1st of December or there and thereabouts, that it's such a long period. Um, we do it at that time um, because then it gives you the opportunity if you want to get it as a Christmas present from someone else for yourself. Um, and then we can ship everything out ahead of time. Um, Susan, it, it's over the next few days, my birthday. Um, so Olivia's been typing. Rachel's seen the Love It Stitch It videos. Thanks, Rachel. Um, I need to stop looking at the comments because I'm getting distracted. Um, yeah, so we, it, there's always a big period. So pre-order opens at the start of December for the January sale. And then we don't start until the end of January. Um, but I'm thrilled that um, it is now. Nikki is putting her first stitch in How Did Your Garden Grow? Um, thrilled with the release of part one. We have two toadstools. Um, there are gaps in the bottom. Any guesses as to why there are gaps? It's intentional, don't worry. Um, watering can with tomatoes growing. We have pumpkins. Um, we've got the water coming out of the watering can. Is that it? I think that's everything. Watering can, tomatoes, pumpkins and toadstools. Yep. Um, so it's a six-part six stitch along. Um, the final part comes out in June and is one part released every month on the 21st of each month. So if you did want to take a look at that, um, I will put a link now in the chat. Um, it's a gardening allotment theme. There is a, it's, it's a decent size actually, and you might be able to have a guess at some of the elements based on the sort of the blurred out, where am I? Um, the blurred out picture of the finished sample. There we go. Um, so go and have a look at our stitch along. Um, we've got over a thousand people on that. Um, you might have about 1200 people joining us. So absolutely incredible support, incredible community. Um, there's a ton of activity 
on floss tube we've got some i was gonna say like famous floss tubers well-known floss tubers who, who are joining us um hashtag on instagram garden grow sal there's a ton of activity in the facebook group um, of people's updates there's absolutely no pressure to keep up at all with any of the stitch alongs some people fly through them in a few days other people take the whole month or a couple of months um, stop and start I can't wait for you to see part two I think if you like part one of a stitch along or kind of like the theme like the style of it you're gonna love the rest of it because the six parts and I always think the first part looks a bit rubbish because it's there by itself it's not obvious how it fits in with all the other elements but as the whole pattern starts to grow and it's revealed, it fits in so much better. You start to see how everything slots in um, and we use all of the colors across those two thread holders as well, which all really complement each other. Um, and I'm thrilled with how the threads look against that mossy green Zweigart fabric. So um, just with Love It Stitch It, um, just with love it stitch it yes so you can just pay as one off um there's a seven day free trial so it's completely free to have a go you can play around with it as much as you like for seven days um and see how easy it is to use and use all those functions um if you want to create another design um and you want to just do it as a one-off and just have a go um it's i believe it's 4.99 um, I will put the prices on here somewhere soon and just release everything. But it, it's on the um, About Us and How Does It Work page and everything like that, um, just as one off. Um, or you can sign up for a monthly subscription, which is, I believe, $9.49. Um, you can also sign up for a six monthly subscription or annual with a 40% discount. So if you're going to be using it quite a lot and you're going to be producing quite a few designs, you only actually need to produce two designs within a month to make the subscription more worthwhile. Also, if you have a subscription and you're then listing your patterns on the marketplace, um, there is no listing fee at all, unlike other websites. Um, but the um, commission percentage is significantly lower as well for subscribers. So if you're creating two, four, ten designs and you're listing these on the website, and you see those being sold um, and you see that revenue coming in, you'll be able to see in your account how much money you've made, how many people have downloaded your patterns, um, and then you'll be paid at the end of the month, um, which is really fun um, to, to see and to have the extra income um, and to see both people enjoying your work, sharing it, and then, as I know how exciting it is to see someone stitch something that you've designed, um, and then you've also got extra income coming in as well um, through that. Um, but there's uh, all the terms and conditions and everything is really, really clearly detailed on the site. And there's a long FAQ list. Um, I'll probably do another live purely about Love It Stitch, if that's OK, at a later date um, and answer specifically questions on that. Um, but I would encourage you to sign up for the emails, loveitstitchit.com. Uh, love or join us in the Love It Stitch It Facebook group. Um, but we have Emma Congdon, Stitch Rovia, is gonna have all of her stunning, I was gonna say beautiful, just stunning designs are gonna be on there as well. Um, and there's a ton of other designers um, who will be listing their designs. So the more people that go and have a look at everything and shop on the marketplace, the more designers that I can convince to get onto the marketplace and then vice versa. So if I can get 500 designers on there and thousands of designs, it'll be the place to be. Um, and hopefully it'll be your first port call, your one stop for anything cross stitch to build the whole community around the designer, the marketplace, the support, the community, everything. OK, shall we do the giveaway? Just as a reminder, um, finishing off, this is where I've got to with my bookworm, not that far along, but I'm going to watch some Grey's Anatomy um, in a minute and I will finish that off tonight. Sean, the YouTube presenter, is also stitching hers. So do join us on the YouTube channel, which is just called Caterpillar Cross Stitch from Monday, 31st of Jan. So our prizes, bear with me a second. 
we have a very passive aggressive don't talk to me i'm counting tote bag which you can fit a ton of stuff in all your stash and we have the beautiful norman the gnome who's had a bit of a drink needle minder okay and those will be shipped out in the next 48 hours if not tomorrow um, because bethany seems to be quite on it at the moment with them um, dispatch so likely tomorrow um, to the winner of the competition here we go guys so carla can you please i feel like i'm doing a game show a game quiz quiz show um donna wants the bag and victoria is loving stitch rovia um carla can you leave me a comment please and just let me know that you are here and ready to rumble with our quiz question the rules are please can you only comment one time so only one guess per person is carla here i think i have a slight delay of about 40 seconds as well on these comments so please comment just once with your guess and it is the first person that carla sees on her feed hi carla thank you um, that comes up the first one with the correct answer um, will be the winner okay are we ready to go carla eyes to the prize that's not a saying um I'm, I'm going to look as well because it'll be interesting to see if it's the same person. But Carla's decision is final and it's just for, well, it's not just, it is fun. I was going to say it's just for fun. There are prizes to be won, um, but it's fun. So let's just, um, let's go for it. Okay, so the question is, and this is related to the how does your garden grow stitch along. What is known as the love apple? what is known as the love apple so just one guess one answer per person please so have a think about it if you're not sure before you comment See, on mine, I've got Rachel Mann. Carla, it, your decision is absolutely final, Carla. So you let me know. The answer is, the correct answer is the tomato. Um, Carla has confirmed it was Rachel Mann. Well done, Rachel. Let me bring this up. Congratulations, Rachel. It was tomato. I learn something new every day. Who knew the tomato was known as the love apple? Um, and tomatoes feature in part one of the how did you garden grow stitch along um, and maybe the other thing as well um, so yeah thank you everyone for entering thank you all for being here um, Rachel congratulations well done to everyone else for your amazing guesses um, lots of the things people are saying actually do feature in the how did you garden grow design congratulations um and those items will be sent out to you rachel please could you email support at caterpillarcrossstitch.com and say i am the winner from the facebook live last night wednesday night um and they will know what they're sending out and can you just put your address in there as well if you've bought from us before rachel then they'll probably have your address but can you just confirm that for our team please um so that nothing goes walkabout um thank you so much to everyone for being here um it's been lovely to chat with you and share a bit of the news and um, answer your questions tonight albeit with water instead of my normal pink gin which i've been drinking for years um other exciting things coming up this year just to mention is our cross stitch planner um i know there was some feedback at the end of last year about the different pages and features in the planner so it'll be a physical planner um, those have all been collated and the pages are now being designed i have a printer it's going to be amazing um, if you like a planner and you like lists and everything ordered you're going to absolutely love this um, should we just call it the cross stitch planner or crafters planner any ideas on a postcard um, and we have our next stitch along after this one 
is going to open for pre-order in April. We start stitching in May and it's going to be an autumn Halloween sal. I've never done a Halloween sal before. Um, matching needle minder with that one as well. We have got a new needle minder coming up in February, um, which I will share the details with across Facebook and Instagram. Um, I don't think anyone said it actually. No one said it in the comments tonight, so that might give you a clue. Um, but I think you're going to love that. Um, it does go nicely actually with uh, the first ever stitch along. So there's a clue. Um, and I know it seems a really long way off, but for Christmas 2022, um, we will also have a Caterpillar cross stitch advent calendar, um, which you can keep afterwards as well, which is going to have 24 surprise goodies in there. Seems a long way off, but I am planning it already. We also have a miniature free book themed sal in March, um, which is very small, split into just four sections. So again, a nice introduction into a stitch along, how our patterns look, how they work. Um, and then if you like that, you can join us for the Halloween one. Um, Love It Stitch It launching soon. Loads going on. We've got our events. So everyone who signed up for the stitching social events in February and March, I will catch you then. Probably we will be gin or cider by that stage. Let's see if I last that long. Um, and yeah, I don't think that there's anything else. Um, we have a needle minder, Alison, that's got Easter eggs in. Um, the little chick. It's not an Easter egg by itself, but it is a chick sitting on a nest with Easter eggs. That will match his Hello Petal. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you want to join us for the Stitch Long um, How Does Your Garden Grow, the link is down below. We're only on part one. It only got released last week, so you haven't really missed out on anything. And if you do want to take advantage of our special offer and subscribe to our Caterpillar Club box and receive the Box 6 Spring Wings, which is a beautiful, bright spring butterfly theme from Little Dove and three gorgeous, gorgeous spring items in there too. You can use code 15BOX5 at checkout for 15% off tonight to say a massive thank you um, for sharing your Wednesday night with me. I really appreciate all the support. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you for being part of the community. Um, and yeah, have a good night. Have a good rest of the week um, and I will catch up with you soon. Bye everyone. Take care.